a man brings home his best buddy unannounced at 7 p.m. after work and his wife starts screaming at him and the friend, friend just sits and listens. The wife says, my hair and makeup aren't done. The house is a mess. Dishes aren't done. I'm wearing a pajamas and I can't be bothered to cook tonight. Why the hell did you bring him home? And the man says, well, he's thinking about getting married and I promised him a demo. <laughs> Welcome to Shave and Butcher for another few um, shaving soaps. Uh, today we're shaving with signature soaps from Bolton. See, they do make soaps in the north of England. Um, we'll talk more about that in a while. And I did say the other day that since so many people use Marty Lindholm soaps, MLSS, um, I, I'm not going to use one. But of course I will. You know, I, I have to. So I'm going to do a quick head shave with Marty soap and then so bear with me and then I'll do a face shave with the signature soaps. This is Black Orsa Spirit, his most mystical scent so far. That's what it looks like. It smells nice. It's peppery. What does he say? Black pepper, basil, lime. And the ingredients are soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils. No bullshit. The brush is friendship shaving brush you know mark from friendship shaving is macy and this is uh, synthetic so we just get that wet get the dome wet um, i finished work at 6 p.m on a friday can you believe that what the heck is that just wetting 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 um mati soap is uh it's a thirsty one, really thirsty. I'll try not to overload. I don't need a lot of lather on the head. I just do one pass with a um, cartridge. <clears throat> so I don't need a lot. So I'll, I'll try and behave. Uh, damp brush, damp to a slightly wet. And you see, you, you work up loads of lather super quickly. Actually, in fact, that's too much already. Black pepper, basil, and lime. All essential oils, that's what he uses for fragrance. And Matti, if you don't know him, Matti has a YouTube channel called Matti Lindholm. And uh, he shaves. He's got quite a, quite a few nice racers. It's mainly straight racers, but he's got quite a few chevettes. He's got DEs. And does he have an SC? I can't remember. So he's got a nice collection. He restores razors. He hones very well. I've tried his, his edges. He uh, makes brushes. That's his, that was his first claim to fame. I used one the other day on camera. They're very nice. Um, and he makes soaps. And he does a lot of other things, but he, he makes soaps and he's made four scents. Uh, uh, no, there's a lime, there's an orange, there's an orange lime, there's this one, the black Osa spirit, Osa is his wife. I'm shaving with a, a head blade, Motto, I think it is. It's broken, but it kind of still works. Last cartridge I have, I use this because on the head, I, I don't like to shave with the DE because I cut myself. Uh, I don't like to shave with a straight razor because I'm too poor at it. I, I have done it, so I can do it, but it's, the result is poor and I cut myself and I dull the razor and so, so on. So usually at home, I use my leaf razor, which is like a cartridge, but it has um, half DE blades in it. In this, in the country house, I have this because I've, I've used this for, I don't know, very many years. It's great. It is great. It's hard to beat in terms of performance. But then again, I don't shave a lot against the, the growth. So, so I'll be, for my purposes, which is an easy one pass every, every single day, it's pretty ideal. 
But not these soaps. Yeah, he started making soaps. He sent out samples to quite a few people in the Swedish wet shaving Facebook group. Um, and I was one, Frank was one, and, and then a few guys abroad got to try them as well. And we thought, well, okay, that's, how do I, how do I sort of, do I just say they're great or, or, or how do I break the, the, the God's honest truth to Matti without hurting him? Because he's such a nice guy. And lo and behold, the, the damn soap is really good. It's really good. It's, um, and I've, I've tried his different batches and I've tried with them without scents, uh, etc. And they're very consistent. I think he uses the same recipe every time now, apart from the, the essential oils he uses for, for scent. And shit, you know, it's, it's great. There's nothing to complain about. It's, it's ridiculous. And we have been debating, <laughs> we, his friends, whether, you know, is it, is it just luck or is he a genius or what is it? Or is it in fact not so hard to make soap? Hmm. But in any event, we're impressed. We're happy for Matti because we, we, we do like Matti. I think everybody who's been in contact with him likes him. He's extremely generous. Uh, he's fun to watch, he's fun to talk to, he's, he's bright and, and he is he's just a multi-talent. Quite impressive. So rich, creamy lather, super easy to use, which I actually like in the soap. Shouldn't be too hard. Nice scent, actually. Uh, not super strong because they're all essential oils, but very nice, very, very base. I love the lime and I love the orange. It's, it's just clean and nice, not artificial. And most importantly, the performance of the soap is just, it's just incredibly good, incredibly good. A blind test, God, we should do more blind tests in this, uh, you know, semi-professional, semi-bogus game of determining which the best soap bases are. We should do blind. I I'd be very. I'd be shit at it, but I sort of don't pretend to be an expert. Some people, a lot of YouTubers do. A lot of my friends do. They go, oh no no, I think the this space is much better than. Yeah, but that's uh, that's tobacco, you know. <laughs> that would be so much fun. I'm not going to give you guys a hard time. I'm sure. I, I know you're much more analytical than I am gonna give you too much too much uh, yeah trouble as I said but a blind test would be interesting I, I you know scentless scentless soaps blind test I'm just saying we're drinking uh, bourbon today I'm behaving during the weeks not drinking alcohol it's super boring but it's Friday today and I've, I haven't tried this one before um, what do we call it? Larseni. John E. Fitzgerald, Larseni, Kentucky, 1870, 92 proof. Have you tried this? What do you think? This is my, my uh, first glass. And uh, I like it. Quite vanilla -y, which is nice. So yeah, Matti Lindahl, check him out. I'll obviously put a link, to, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel because that's the best way of getting in touch with him. You should watch him and you should do business with him. You should try his soap and you should try his brushes. Brushes are two kinds of brushes. One is a 25 millimeter synthetic maggards knot that he puts in usually oak handles that he turns himself. And then he's got another one that Frank Strömberg of Wet Shaving and Stuff YouTube channel designed and and they're putting a, a a bore a long bore knot into a really cool designed um, handle which mine is is oak so i've got three um i got one voluntarily and two i nagged myself into receiving for free i haven't paid for them that's that's who i am you know i abuse kind people 
That's how you get somewhere in life. You feel shitty and you're going to hell, but you get somewhere and just joking. Or am I? Okay, so signature soaps. I, I know very little about signature soaps, apart from the facts, two facts. Martin from YMMV Shaves is, uh, loves, loves them and is, is a big advocate. And two, they're, they're damn good. So different scents, and, and he makes per, per, predominantly other things than shaving soaps, uh, as far as I understand, as far as I know. All uh, organic, sort of, and, and soap-based. He makes aftershave splashes as well, and this is uh, the smaller version, 70 grams, is it? Um, the smaller version, like a, a big sample, but it's, it's a proper soap, so I'm gonna load from the tub. Signature soaps, that's what it looks like. It looks like oatmeal, it really does. And, and that's, that's when you buy something, it's on the website as well. Guys, these are small batches and, and, and that means color and stuff like that can vary from time to time. But I promise they're all good sort of thing. Charming. This is great stuff. So that will be lathered with a, a badger brush. Gotta hydrate. We have this, I think I said the other day, we have this, or I didn't, competition at work. We're in different groups for six weeks. Uh, whoever exercises the most wins. And uh, exercise is defined as different things. So, and I'm a little bit competitive. So I've started exercising. And it's painful and it's, it's grim because I hate exercising. I did today, this morning, I went on a bicycle for half an hour, uh, not too fast, but I was sweating and I didn't die. And, and so, but I, you have to balance the, the good things you do to your body with what it's used to. So cheers. Okie dokie. My brush for the signature soaps, soap is a 30 millimeter extra density Masito Badger. So Chinese, really good quality. Some say quality is up and down. If that is the case, I was most fortunate. Uh, <laughs> not thought through at all. It's a big brush, small, small tin. Can you <laughs> I should bone lather this. Well, we're gonna give it a try, we'll see. <laughs> should work. Does fit. But getting getting the right amount of soap on a big, sucky, extra dense badger knot with something as petite and, and fragile as this, getting the balance right is not easy. So we can go back to the pack and you know. We would be understood but this is typically something you would bow lather unless you have the bigger tin which i don't this is eboracum so it's peppermint eucalyptus hang on it is cedar wood and peppermint why did i think it was okay eucalyptus peppermint i sometimes mix it up cedar wood peppermint very fresh, extremely fresh. With with the scent of you know the um, the things you put in your shoes, the wooden. I don't know. I, I have no idea what that's called. In Swedish, it's school block, shoe block. Do you know what I mean? Uh, aren't those made out of cedar wood? Cedar wood. Anyway, before you've used them too much, because then the scent changes. The scent you get fresh out of out of the box. I love those things. I have too many and pricey ones. But they keep the shoes so well. You know, I take joy in this is this is gonna this is interesting. I take joy in managing my shoes properly. Oh, really? 
Daddy, can you turn up the, the sound? This gentleman is very interesting. I do. Think I've worn dress shoes twice since the coronavirus appeared. Twice. It's ridiculous. I wear it. I look so horrible. The only thing that saves me from looking like a, a, a bum, like a homeless person, is the fact that I shave every day. You know, so I look clean. I may not be, because showering, you know, why the hell would you shower? So I do that occasionally. When someone tells me to, I typically shower. Dad, my eyes are hurting. Can you please clean yourself? That sort of thing. So, so super fresh pepperminty. There's no menthol in it, as far as I could read in the font two of our ingredients list. This contains no meat. It's a vegan soap. He makes. Um, he makes uh, some goat milk soaps, and there is at least one shaving soap that I believe is contains goat milk and other kinds of soaps as well. It's, it's especially for people with eczema and uh, skin conditions like that, where it's, it's very um, kind to the skin. And, and I don't know, maybe the, the goat's milk has some healing properties prob pro properly, probably as well. Um, so cool, and it's from Bolton, so not all the soap makers are southern. Bolton is north of Manchester. I've been to Bolton. What did I do? Yeah, I visited, what's that Bolton? I think there was Bolton. Visited a range of Pakistani paper converters. Bolton. I'm not sure. It, it was outside Manchester anyway. And we sold giant rolls of toilet paper. Like you put one in a truck, so huge, from Slovakia or someplace. We drove them to the north of England. Well, all over England. But then, and then they were converted, so cut into smaller pieces and, and rewinded on, on a, on, on a cardboard core into a toilet paper roll and they would want yeah pink and orange and scented and, uh, so, and so, yeah we tried to keep track of the inventory it was hopeless but anyway they were all Pakistani uh, for some reason in this area god was it Bolton Bolton not so sure it was okay never never mind I don't know why I'm talking about it, it was a lot of fun anyway anyway it was a, a big eye-opener for, for me, coming from an extremely white Swedish uh, upbringing and, and surroundings. And you'd go into a meeting, which would be, and I was very young, um, so I hadn't seen the world very much. And then the meeting would be uh, broken up because of prayer. And you'd go, what? No, we have to. I'd love to keep talking, but you know, it's prayer time. And I was just, wow. <laughs> so that was perhaps my first, I was 24 or something, my first uh, real contact with, with uh, another religion like that. Okay, God, I sound, sound very white, don't I? <laughs> oh, well, I am. Okay, the razor, we haven't talked about the razor, and we, we have to rehydrate. This is nice. This is getting better with every sip, just like most things alcoholic. It'll be white wine for dinner. We're having super fresh shrimp, uh, and uh, I lose the word. We call it sea crayfish, so it's it's shit. 
I'm sorry. Well, we're having seafood for dinner. And it's going to be very nice. The racer is a wade and butcher. Extra hollow grind, as you can see from the stamp there. Uh, very hollow. It's a fantastic racer. It's about five and a half, we'll call it so Avin doesn't get annoyed. 11 sixteenths. Here we go. I wonder, is there menthol in it after all? It's, it's so refreshing. Is it the peppermint or the menthol? I really should study the ingredients list again, but I couldn't find menthol on it. But this is one out of several scents that he has, and it's, it is so nice. I have one more um, that I have as a sample from Martin. I haven't tried that in a while. I might try that too. Excellent racer. As much as, as much as there's something about wedges and the whole 150 year old heavy Vikings feeling about them. There's something about really hollow racers too. You know, the, the big, crazy big Erik Anton Berg I used yesterday is super hollow, really thin blade. This one is my Philharmonica 13 is, and there's just, there's just something about them. I probably in general get a closer shave with full hollows than a wedge. But if it was all about a close shave, you know, I'd use a Wick, I'd use a Mac 3. Those two give me the closest shave, honestly. So, okay, I've, I've had BBS shaves, so I've done that. I've been there. I don't need that every time. Actually, I don't like it very much. I don't like to the work I have to put in to get it. Because it usually gets gives me some kind of irritation. The wick, not so much, but if I do against with the grain, against the grain and I pick up with the wick, which I need to, to get a proper BBS, but then I get a proper BBS, then I get a little bit of irritation and probably a few weepers. Oh, <laughs> God, I, I have to put in a photo and I, I really hope I'll remember after having a few more of those bourbons. Uh, there's something called a monkey tail beard. Have you heard about that? <laughs> it's going to be short-lived, but it's it's quite the thing. So I'm going to put in, if I remember, a photo. And if I forget, Google monkey tail beard. Here's a photo of a monkey tail beard. <laughs> I should get that. God. They'd give me a hard time at work, that's for sure. Oh, I killed at work today. Shit. I work's been not so much fun for quite quite a while. It's been one disaster after another. It's really destroys you. But last week was good. This week today was good too. I'm on a bit of a roll. So things will probably go to hell soon. No, but it's great. Uh, you know, every little success counts when you're when you've been down and out. So, good job, me. That also means next week I can mess up a bit, can't I? It's amazing how racers can look very similar when I look at them. So not in a microscope, but just looking at them and they look the same and they shave so differently. It's, 
it's the um, the steel I guess it's, it's how they're made the skill is of the razor maker fascinating fascinating how some razors can be ugh, and some are just marvelous and some razors you can get 80 shaves out of and they're all comfortable and good as long as you just strop in between fantastic but signature soaps it's one to uh, it's one to to try out for sure i don't know the gentleman who who makes them i think um i think martin knows him so you may want to ask him The only people I I know have tried signature soap s soap s are people who 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 was given one by Martin, just like I was. I didn't purchase this. I'd never heard of it, and it really is a pleasant acquaintance. Again, very easy to work with. It doesn't look much. I mean, it looks like oatmeal. But I find that pretty cool. It looks very organic, ecological. And it performs beautifully. I mean, for me, shaving is so much more the racer and the edge than the soap but this is this is a beautiful soap i really dig the scent and you know it's it's so it's it's very northern if i, if I can if i can generalize there's no where is it there's no damn artwork or anything you get the soap, it's being poured in a tin, and you get stickers that you put on yourself. This is the front, it says what it is, and this is the back, it's the ingredient list. What else do you need? Stupid photo of a clown? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's very northern. I, 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 think. I think it's very northern. But then again, I love the north of England. I really do. To the extent that I lived in Yorkshire and I still enjoy Manchester. Okay. Scott Owl just got a heart attack. A lot of good people are from Lancashire, Scott. You know it. They really are. And music. We shouldn't start on the music. If I had to pick... <laughs> why would I? But if I would have to pick one town in the world uh, for music. So, only music made from one town. It would be so easy. It would be Manchester. Because anything you want... You've got it. And it's been made in Manchester. Now, a lot of music in the 80s and then 90s that I fancy comes from Manchester, so. My house gods are the Smiths. They're from Salford, like the Red Devils. Yeah, dear, I know right there a little bit. Jim at Jim Will Shave said derogatory things about ice hockey. He thinks rugby is much cooler. I don't know. I think rugby is pretty damn cool too. But I think, Jim, if you're really secure in your sexuality, you know, you're relaxed about what other people do. <laughs> so, it's 
expect to hear from you on that one. Okay, I'll be quiet. This is my new tricky area. So I'll be quiet. I don't know why, it's my good hand, it's my off hand, it's not my dominant hand, but it's my good hand. And it's this backhand movement. I think it's psychological. I go there and I, I, th I think, oh, I struggle here. And then the brain sends out a signal to, to, to the arm and the lip and whatever. It says, oh, difficult, tricky. He serves, he struggles here. So let's get really tense and shaky or whatever. Yeah, because the mind does such so many stupid things. If it wasn't for the for the mind, shit, if we were just a bit stupider, we'd be killing it at work every day. We would. Okay, slow shave today. This is a spot, not a cut. My shaving is excellent. Be quiet. A really nice soap that keeps hydrated for a long time. So easy to work with, again, easy to hydrate and the tolerance is, the spread is quite wide. So you can decide how wet you want the lather. And I didn't have a s extraordinarily wet one today, but it still contains moisture in a, in an exemplary way. So, not so pretty, uh, very simple packaging, but a, but a brilliant soap. And that's, that's cool, isn't it? There's no, no branding. It's not even sort of dull on purpose. It's just, I don't, who gives a shit, you know? Look at the performance and the scent. And there's something cool about that. This gentleman will never sell a lot of soaps in, in, in America. Where your marketing and brand building, including packaging, has to be on point. But in the north of England, <clears throat> it works very well. And mind you, this in the southwest of Sweden, it works well too, because I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. So a head shave and a face shave in the same video. I may have never, never done that. So this will probably go viral. The crazy guy he had this European artisan week and he did a head shave before the face shave. Wow, you gotta see this Starlene. Gonna rinse a bit down here. So you know, if you wanna sing a song or whatever. You can do I'm not looking, so you can do whatever the hell you want. Relax, don't do it. When you wanna go through it. When you wanna oh go back. I wonder what it's like to have bourbon as off shave, but I'm not gonna go that crazy. I'm gonna go halfway, I'm gonna go Stetson. Shaky shaky, Stetson is cool. It's what people my age used in high school. So I don't use the stuff. I used in high school. I use other people's high school stuff. Cheap and cheerful. It's it's good. I think it's a good aftershave. And I can't help it. I really dig the scent. I really do. Uh, yeah. It smells like an old man's aftershave. I don't know. My wife likes it too. She likes most things. The, the only thing she's 
told me to get rid of was Barrister Man's room, where I splashed out and got the soap and the aftershave. So that was that was no good. But most things she thinks is cool because she's a cool lady, and we we love her. We do. Okay, dokie. So we had uh, we had Matti Lin Matti Matti Lindholm's shaving supply soap black Osa, and we had signature soap S Iborico. That's what we use today. Two. I'm cheating because I'm having to. Well, no, 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 not cheating. I make the damn rules. No one said one soap today. Tomorrow we'll be back with with one one soap. Very special one well, to me. Thank you for watching. Konnichiwa and have a great weekend. Stay sharp.